to my channel Rue's Life. So I've just finished um, some night shifts and I'm in the polytunnel. Uh, Chris has been looking after it for me um, while I've been working. So I've just worked Friday, Saturday, Sunday nights. So the last time I was in here was Friday morning. Um, so I'll give you a little uh, update. It's just a short one today just to show you how things are progressing. So here are the tomatoes. Um, the ones that were in the pots to the left here, the blue and the terracotta coloured one, um, they're looking good. And then these are the ones I just planted up the other week, last week, and they're starting to establish themselves. Uh, the cucumbers have sort of ground to a bit of a halt, but I think that they will come. These runner beans are really starting to, to climb up the sticks there. They're looking really healthy and the little lettuce in there. Um, I sowed some radish into these baskets and some rocket and that's germinated and it's looking good. These little beetroot, they I think aren't looking as good as they have been so um, we've just been using the leaves for, uh, for salad so I'll probably clear those um, this week, um, eat what's left and then um, refresh that basket and re-sow. We have flowers on the peas. They're looking really healthy. The broad bean here are looking good. They're flowering. I have little red strawberries. So I've got lots of little green strawberries, but I've got two yummy looking strawberries there. So I'm quite excited about that. Uh, these beetroot, they're looking fine there in the baskets. The courgettes are romping away. They are a little bit too close together, I fear, but um, I've, I've planted them close before and um, yeah, I don't think you can really go wrong with courgette. They're so easy to grow. Um, and then over here, um, the chard's looking good. I spaced that out. I think I may have, in my last video, um, said that this was kale. It's not kale, it's chard. Um, but it's looking good. And the row of spring onion there they're also looking good. These spring onion, some of the mows are ready for, for harvesting and eating in the baskets. And then the pot, they have germinated beautifully. They're romping away. Potatoes are looking great. And then in this longer bed, um, I've got some weeds in the corner. The suppressant um, didn't quite go up and, and they've been a problem since we put the polytunnel up. Um, we will be graveling this um, eventually and I will sort that corner out, um, but I'll have to weed those out. Uh, the radish there, they're starting to bolt a little bit, so I think they're ready to come. Um, so they might be a little bit woody, um, but I can always cook with them. Um, the spinach there, that I don't think is as happy um, in this bed as it is the spinach that I've grown in um, pots, but it's fine, it's doing. Um, the red onion are looking good. I have some beans on the broad bean, the ones that I overwintered. I started these off in November, December time, and they are starting to have little bean pods. Um, the carrots that I planted here that I wasn't sure if they were gonna germinate, some of them actually are germinating. So. I'm going to have more carrots than I anticipated. So they were a bit, a bit slow and the seeds were old and I didn't think they were going to come, but they're coming. So that's good. And then this is the little row of carrots that I um, transplanted across and they're looking good. I need to do a bit of weeding again. Um, these are leek. Uh, oh, there's a little random nasturtium there. I might um, pop him out and move him somewhere. Beetroot there, they're pretty much ready, I think, to, to come. Um, there's a little gap here with nothing in it. The white onion there, they're looking good. Those carrots were overwintered and I think they're getting ready for me to pull and there's some more onion behind them. There's a little Lolo Rosso lettuce here that's not actually looking brilliant, um, but the middle is sort of coming, so it might come. And then there's some coriander there in the corner, which is germinated. This spinach, uh, which is the perpetual spinach, is starting to bolt. Um, it does this on a regular basis. You know, it's in the polytunnel, it's warm. Um, and I know spinach will bolt if it's warm, but it's been doing this ever since I grew it. So I just chop those bolting tops off and give them to the chickens. Um, but the, the other leaves are still good and tasty. And then round here, the bucket of lettuce is really looking good. And we're just going to keep picking up 
up those leaves and eating them. The little bucket of Charlotte potatoes, they're looking good. This bucket of spinach, which was looking fabulous, is starting to look a little droopy and not so good. Um, so um, I'll see what, what happens with that. Worst case scenario is, um, you know, we'll just pull what's there, eat it um, and then start some more. This little geranium here is um, starting to pop some little flowers. Um, it's not looking fabulous, but again, it was cheap. Um, this basket isn't brilliant and I don't think it holds the moisture as much as it should, uh, but it's there, it's growing. Uh, still got some healthy looking tomatoes. Um, the three pots there, I'm gonna find somewhere to put those. And then that little tray, um, I've got actually a work colleague I spoke to this morning and he's quite keen to take those. Um, and all the other spares I had have, have been given away now. Uh, the chives, they're looking good. The parsley, the flat leaf and the curly parsley, they are looking good. Basil's enjoying a little bit more space. The pumpkin and the spring onion and the squash there, I only planted um, those seeds last week and they haven't germinated yet, but I'm hopeful that they will. And then these are just a selection of various flower mix seeds, which are all looking really good and getting ready, some of them to be moved elsewhere. And then I've got two little rows of carrots there um, and they're looking fine. So all in all, it's looking good. And just outside the pumpkins, I've got one pumpkin plant left, um, but it's looking quite healthy. Um, so I'm gonna just be a little bit more patient um, and really establish the seeds if they germinate until they're sort of good, healthy sized plants before I plant those out. There's no germination yet on the potatoes over there. The rhubarb is coming slowly. And then out here, we've got the leek, the onion, and the garlic, and that's all still doing fine. So it's another lovely sunny day. They're ploughing the fields just across the way there. I love watching them plough. Don't think you can actually see the tractor at the moment. It's gone behind the tree, but I've been watching them this morning. So it's a lovely day, the sun's shining. So I'm gonna pop the kettle on, have a cup of tea, and I'm just gonna get some downtime because I, um, I've had three quite uh, difficult and demanding but rewarding um, shifts um, and I'm ready for a bit of rest. So thank you so much for watching. I'll catch up with you all again soon. I hope you're all having a lovely time wherever you are and whatever you're doing and I hope you're enjoying the sunshine. Take care. Thank you. Bye bye.